Hey, what's up everybody? I'm in Elblong today. Elblong is about 50 kilometers from Gdańsk. Medium, medium, big size city, around 100,000 people living here. They have a beautiful uh, old town and everything, but it's very, very quiet and cozy. Not as busy as Gdańsk or Poznań or Wrocław or Krakow, of course. Uh, problem is only it's 5.30 at 6, gonna be dark, it's very cold, it's rainy, weather has changed. But still, I'm gonna show you. <laughs> I'm gonna show you around. There's beautiful gate to the to the city actually behind me. This is actually the main gate. What I was talking about. This is actually gate to the old town, but it's called Brama Targowa. In free translations, it means the gate to the market square. But basically, old towns in Poland they are technically market squares actually so that's make all sense but like i said it's totally totally different vibe to the very big cities like major cities like Gdańsk or Wrocław uh, especially uh, where at this time there will be so many so many people but today is quiet of course weather as you can see it's gray sky it was rainy everything is wet but uh, it's just simply different vibe uh, actually I like the roads here they are like you can drive here so it's cool it's not like a completely walking street it's just so so quiet <laughs> so that's gonna be something different experience I was checking YouTube not too many people coming here but uh, this is very important city in Poland actually so why not to show you uh, and this is basically market square look like this one old town okay I'm gonna tell you there are a few stories about the uh, Elblong uh, Elbląg is in northern Poland. Uh, it was totally destroyed during the war, obviously, like most of the cities here. Uh, it's beautiful. One of the oldest city, or one of the oldest town in whole entire Poland country. Um, also, it's not only from the medieval era, but also remember the Vikings here. That is unfortunately one of the most deserted uh, big city in Poland. Due to long time ago, there was this high rank of unemployed so many 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 people from this city just simply left a uh, long time ago slowly slowly people coming back here but you can feel it this empty empty streets uh, basically everywhere but i will show you because there are some restaurants some stuff is going on anyways okay let's go let's have a look there's vegan spot so if you're vegan you can have it or if you're not vegan you can have a kebab uh, not sitting outside it's too cold but inside you can but inside there is like a nice place actually could have a coffee there's like a fireplace and stuff uh, actually the city is beautiful it's small but it's nice uh, it's just well you can feel this quietness it's more quiet than my little hometown Actually, there's a nice church also, of course. Uh, and this is Polish 7-Eleven, Żabka. Actually, I don't remember when I was here last time. I'm, I'm not sure even if I ever have been here uh, in the old town because I'm exploring the Polish towns right now when I'm, I become the YouTuber. This is actually the city hall. But the city hall here is renovated. So it looks modern, but they keep the old traditional look. And this is like a, a kawiarnia. So you can buy coffee, some cake there. But uh, yeah, this is like a dark atrium. <laughs> First of all, this weather suck. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> I'm holding my hand, second hand, but I'm not holding the camera in the pocket because it's cold. Second of all, this new, well, city hall, which is was destroyed, they refurbished it, make it completely new look. Looks still nice, traditional. There are some fancy apartments in the old town, the renovated one, the old one. It's just quiet. <laughs> but I cannot tell you, it's different vibe when you go to the big city, like a major city. But there are some nice coffee shops. Look at this one, cafe, kava and copy. As copy somebody wrote here in Poland, this is, I don't know, maybe there are some, sounds Indonesian, no? Cool. And that's the old little Alice church. Here you go, you can have a look. Oh, this is something actually very modern restaurant here. This building is actually renovated completely. The apartments, you're looking there, they are on the top two, they are for rent or for sale, for rent. And there is Chasha, nice looking gastro pub. And this is like the end of the street. Very quiet though, but nice. For some, during the summer, of course, must be a totally different story. That's the sounds of the five o'clock. 
ah, that was nearly accident. I got this on the camera. But they will call the police and I will have to be a witness. Anyway, sounds of the church uh, bells from this church, uh, from this one. It's actually cool. You can hear like that in Polish cities. But uh, after that, some old buildings like this ones here. There's still people living in those uh, flats, apartments. Uh, this is like, you know, it's a sad story actually because we see these buildings, these two, they are totally originally kind of a little bit refurbished, but many of them, they were totally destroyed and this is new. But they don't look from outside that much different actually. Still skip the old proper architecture and these uh, brick roads, they're always cool here in Europe. The bells actually coming from this church over there. You can see, nice shot. It's dark. A very nice shot, actually. It will be even better when it will be totally dark, so there will be lanterns full of light. So, so yeah, this is it. This one is very long, actually. They also have uh, quite many nice restaurants. So people sit outside, but they have a glass, uh, like a glass uh, house where you can enjoy the outdoors, but still warm. And they have a nice, nice pizzeria. Very nice place, though. And yeah, I'm gonna show you a little bit of the downtown now as well. It's actually a very interesting place. Very underrated, I guess. I believe so. That's gonna be a beginning of... Ooh! Have you seen that? I got this on the camera. He nearly crashed. The old traditional trams. It's wet and some people forgot how to drive. Uh, <laughs> that's the uh, downtown basically, but very European look of the downtown. Uh, there will be casino in very old building as well. We have a casinos in, in Poland, by the way. On the other side, you can see some very interesting uh, battle shop with the bar. Of course, the view of the downtown, uh, um, the old town, actually. Little bit of the traffic congestion, basically. Five cars, that's the traffic jams what you have in Poland on the red light. So they have basically no traffic jams at all. And that's the statue of the Jews, Józef Piłsudski, Joseph Piłsudski, which is a very important person in Polish history. Actually, I'm gonna tell you, you can find a lot of very nice looking cozy restaurants here. This one is very Christmas vibe, even there is no Christmas even soon, still over two months. Uh, but uh, you can find so many romantic places here, as Winnie will say when she will be working here with me, yes I am. And uh, of course one way roads and stuff, but uh, totally, oh that's another place for coffee, actually I should get a coffee somewhere, it's the weather for coffee and coffee o'clock. Uh, but I uh, would like to go somewhere up, like to the top of this tower and the church, but I'm not sure if you can. Uh, it's like a bread shop. But very, very quiet, that's for sure. And so many parking, also the cheapest parking in whole Poland. Only two, three złotych per hour. This is like a bargain, cheap and empty, actually. So, uh, so it's cool. I mean, the cheapest parking in Poland. So basically, this is the way where is the main market uh, square uh, gate, basically. Like this one. Definitely, definitely not too many people you can spot here. Uh, and so many nice places for coffee. This one this is the copy one. Actually, I, I think I'm gonna get inside, but also I wanna go a little bit into this street. Let's see what is there. This is behind the church. At the front of the church is actually a monument of the Saint John Paul II, Święty Jan Paweł II. Sorry for the wind, which was the Polish Pope, very legendary Pope. Uh, many, many people all around the world should know uh, this person. So. It's very nice. Also very interesting statue here. I think it's like the story of this uh, Paul, Pope. Very, very cool. Very, very nice. Very lovely person. This is the parking next to the church and little park. Uh, very similar to the um, my hometown Sush. Very similar, just bigger, of course, like uh, many, many times bigger. Uh, but also big church, parking around. Uh, I was thinking to park here, but I parked next to the actually the gate. It doesn't really matter, there are some hotels and the beautiful uh, old town buildings. So there is the hotel, so some hotels, also some Marriott's hotels are there, uh, but not on the street. Uh, there is a church like this one and also those old buildings. Some of them, they are um, old, what well, they are survived during the wars. And, but unfortunately, like I said, most of them, they didn't survive uh, during the war. So they has to rebuild them completely. But I'm gonna tell you, they did a great job. They did a great job. Uh, the church survived, thankfully. 
and also yeah i think i showing you three times one, uh, left and right uh, but they are nice restaurants sushi greek you can find actually the places from all around the world here cool not only polish stuff this is actually a very beautiful sweet city just pts is so quiet it's friday afternoon somebody have a nice mercedes actually uh yeah that's for sure but um i'm gonna tell you not just because i'm polish i visited many places this is a very nice city it's very nice it's just sad as friday afternoon it's quiet that's only the thing oh down there there are bars also like this one cool i'm driving you cannot drive and drink in poland no tolerance at all not like in australia perhaps you can have a one or two pints and still drive here is zero so you cannot but uh, maybe that's better and yeah gonna have a coffee perhaps that's for sure i'm looking for the place now and then show you at night everything here oh and mustang actually you know what i'm gonna go to this coffee shop because they have a copy i'm curious and also on google map they have a 4.9 out 5 google review so i'm gonna try and check this out so i got my uh, cappuccino looks like in bali actually the, with the nice uh, swan and everything that's the place and i actually those lovely two guys join me because it's so cold outside <laughs> as you can imagine they have a nice decoration they are from tunisia and living in bali for uh, in poland for three years right yeah. and he speak polish say something in polish <laughs> so, and he just joined you so uh, so they're working in dusk and and then they're just having coffee here so cool we're gonna enjoy have a little chat like you know always cool to meet some people and i have opportunity to speak english because they speak nice english and everything but we could speak polish but well why not <laughs> so cool a nice place actually you can meet nice people here this was actually a cool experience meeting some people from tunisia in general expats living in poland they speak polish english you know have a good chat uh, working down so a lot of interesting information and pretty good time i'm gonna show you the town by night a little bit I'm obviously you're not gonna find that much what's going on here and gonna back home but uh you can find a lot of nice cafes the cafe was nice and full of people actually so cool so basically that's the elblong old town by night that's the pizza shop full of people actually those restaurants here they are more full than the other places but not too overcrowded very cozy and well two three four four five people more walking on the streets uh, this is actually i'm parked behind this uh, main gate uh, i'm gonna tell you that's the vibe of the hundred thousand people living in the city but you don't feel it at all but uh, definitely cozy and definitely feels very safe i i just wanted to notice you're not gonna find homeless people here in poland either here or in bigger cities or at least not that much there must be somebody somewhere there's no perfect place in the world uh, but you're not gonna find any much graffiti written something um and everything looks actually pretty decent this is what i was taught and yeah this is it also this place is nice i think there is cafe and you can go up very nice a lot of places actually but for me i just wanted to have a coffee uh some people walking pretty cool enjoyable vibes what i gonna tell you um cool sad as is quiet but at the same time very interesting experience and pretty nice nice time also at night looks pretty decent it's with, now imagine it's cold and the snow is falling like snow is falling like this one through these lanterns everything is white this one also will be nice and actually it's gonna be like that in around two months that's the porcelain shop wanted to show you but it's dark they didn't switch on the lights but you see the apartments up there there are people living i'm gonna show you a little bit how so the alarm not gonna be on they have a nice christmas porcelain actually already here check this out cool there's one more nice place at the front of the gate okay guys huh? basically just wanted to show you a little bit it is how it is in my opinion nice town little bit underrated deserve a little bit more visitors either local or either international uh, i'm happy as i make a video here actually let me know what do you think of course and i will see you tomorrow next video see ya thanks